Welcome to 30 Second Chances, where we ask deep contemplative questions and provide far too little time to formulate thoughtful, reflective answers. My guest today is composer, producer, musician, Star Parodi. Star, how you doing? Good. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being had. All right. You know the drill, 30 seconds on the clock and on to the next question. Are you ready? I, I think thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question number one. Describe your job to a five-year-old. Okay. Picture your teacher asking you to draw a picture of something that you like. And then when you're looking at the picture, picture music coming into your head that goes along with the picture and and uh, tells the story of the picture. That's what I do. That's a lot of pictures. That's a lot of pictures. Picture, picture, picture. Picturing pictures. It's, it's, yeah, sorry, I'm confused. All right, next question. Tell me about an irrational fear or strange belief you had as a small child. Oh my gosh. Well, there's always the closet, the dark closet, you know, and then there's always, um, gosh, I mean, I don't think I had a lot of irrational fears. I had some real fears. <laughs> But those don't, count. Uh, those don't count. Um, one of them was having to tune my super Jupiter. This is when I wasn't a small child a hundred times for good luck before a show for the Arsenio show. How long did that take? Yeah, that, never mind. I don't want to oh, know. Okay. Next question What is the most unusual job or gig you've ever had? Oh my gosh. I would say maybe, um, gosh, I've had a lot of unusual ones. Maybe the very first time I ever got, uh, my very first gig where I went to play at a party and it was for a bunch of Chippendale dancers. <laughs> and the person that opened the door didn't have a top on and she was the woman. And I was like, Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Um, that was my first gig. I Weird. Paid well. <laughs> Yes. Next question. Not Tell me about a memorable prank you've pulled or been on the receiving end of. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I didn't pull this one, but it's so great. Uh, a group of musicians, a band, were at an airport, and one of the musicians went and called, you know, like on the, on the comm phone, and started paging famous musicians to that particular gate. So they paged you know, at the time, I think it was, you know, Jaco Pastorius, Miles Davis, Joe Zell and all. And then all these people in the band were like, oh, my gosh, I think these guys are on our flight, you know. Oh, that's so mean. That's, that's terrible. All right. Next question. You've just woken up as a fictitious superhero with a completely pointless or semi-useless superpower. Who are you and what does your costume look like? Oh, my gosh. I would definitely have a cape. It would definitely be purple. Um, and I would just probably fly around sprinkling dust to make people happy. <laughs> I don't know. And, and you know. <laughs> What's your superhero name? Oh, gosh. Um, You're like pixie dust. Right? Prote protector of the melodies. <laughs> oh, dear God. I know, it's, it's bad. It's getting deep in here. Um, it's bad. <laughs> Jeff is like, oh, my God. <laughs> okay, next question. What's the strangest or more most embarrassing thing you've ever done when sleep-deprived, distracted, or otherwise on autopilot? Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is really funny. Um, I was working on a pilot for a show, and I was up for three days because it was last minute and they had to get it done. My daughter was sleeping on the floor. I was in the studio with Jeff and they sent over some music and I didn't, I, I, I told them, gosh, I don't, I'm so sorry that you guys didn't use our main title. And they go, no, that that's what you wrote. And I had been so tired that I didn't actually even remember writing the music that they sent over. Uh, okay. Okay. That's far too tame. And I, I was hoping for like sleepwalking down Broadway or something like that. Oh, gosh, no. All right. Next question. Tell me a time when you were woefully unprepared for something, but pulled it off anyway. Oh, my gosh. All right. I was the keyboardist on the Arsenio Hall show. 
And oftentimes the guests would just start breaking into song and the band would just come in. You know, we would just hear it and start playing with them. So Sammy Davis Jr. was the guest. And he walked over to the bandstand and said, play time after time. And I thought he was talking about the Cindy Lauper's time after time, but he wasn't. And so thankfully, John B., you know, the, the jazz genius started playing the right time after time, and I fell into it. But it could have been awesome. very embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Tell me about your worst concert going experience. Okay, so this is something that I was actually a part of. I was playing for uh, a singer, and you know, for several thousand people, I'm not going to name who it was. And I would normally play all the keys, but there was one song where he would play and sing by himself like a singer songwriter kind of thing and then i would come in with some strings and stuff so anyway his voice was a little funny that day and he couldn't he couldn't sing it at the in the key that the song was in so he taped his pitch wheel down a step on his keyboard with tape and as he was singing the tape slowly started to uh road and he started you know and 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 obviously the pitch started slowly going up so we were all starting to play with him in the other key and then it was just a disaster and he actually just got up and threw himself down on the ground on the stage and started laughing <laughs> and then he ordered a pizza and had it a- <laughs> that went way over 30 seconds and i allowed it because it was <laughs> so damn funny <laughs> oh my gosh you just don't forget something like that <laughs> All right, that concludes our regularly scheduled questions. I'm now going to put 30 seconds more on the clock and allow you to either answer for me a question you wish I had asked you, shamelessly plug or pontificate on some subject or another, ask me a question, whatever you like, 30 seconds, it's all yours, go. Oh my gosh, all right. Well, pontificating, I just wanna say, um, I, I wanna give a shout out to the Alliance for Women Film Composers since it's International Women's Month. And all the great work, yes, all the all the great work that they and everybody involved in it has been doing to, um, you know, to make more diverse voices heard, you know. And um, I'm just super, super grateful to be doing music. And so I guess for 30 seconds, I can just <laughs> sit here and be grateful and, you know, just be just be uh, like a, a grateful person. You can be grateful for more than 30 seconds. It's allowed. <laughs> Star Parodi, thank you for being my guest. Thank you for having me. Mm-hmm.